फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर रिलेटेड कोडिंग क्वेश्चन ओके एंड दैट क्वेश्चन वाज केम ऑन 18 जनवरी ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो दिस इज आवर क्वेश्चन राइट सो व्हाट दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग टू अस लेट्स सी फर्स्ट मिस्टर रॉक ऑन हिज वे टू द ऑफिस यूज्ड टू ऑब्जर्व अ बोर्ड व्हेयर अ लकी नंबर इज ऑफ दैट डे इज रिटन इट वाज रिटन बाय एन ओल्डर मैन टू बिल्ड सम इंटरेस्ट इन मैथ अमंग द ऑफिस एम्प्लॉइज Every day he used to note the numbers in his diary. He did a lot of math on it and found that if he takes the last n numbers in sequence, then the lucky number is equal to the sum of all the numbers that have repeated odd number of times. Okay, so this line is so important to solve this question. Okay, just try to remember this line. So now, now Rock wants to help the old man by replacing the board with a digital. Which he can operate from his home also. Can you write a program that accepts n numbers and displays the lucky number for that day? Okay, so this is a, this is our whole question. So basically, here this line is so important that the last n number is sequence. Then the lucky number is equals to the so equals to the sum of all the numbers that have repeated odd number of times. Okay. So now let's see some examples. So this is our first example. In this example, here n is means here you have to take the last n days data means here n equals to seven. Okay. So now you have to take the uh, n uh, means n inputs. I mean here is n is equals to seven. So you have to take seven inputs. Okay. So now as you can see, eleven is occurs two times. Okay. And twelve is occurs. Two times, but thirteen is occurs three times. Okay, so now um, I think you can understand you, that thing is that if thirteen is occurs three times, means is three is an odd number, right? So it means that you have to take thirteen for your calculation, right? And thirteen is occurs three times, means you have to add thirteen three times. Okay, so same thing is saying in this explanation. Let's see. So consider. The last seven days data eleven twelve have repeated two times. Okay, repeated even number for a uh, time so that can not be considered for the calculation because eleven and twelve is occurs two two times. Whether as thirteen has repeated three times, which is odd, right? So the lucky number is thirteen plus thirteen plus thirteen is thirty nine. Okay, because thirteen occurs three times. If thirteen occurs Five times, then you have to add thirteen five times. Okay, I think it's clear. So now let's see second example. In the second example, your n value is five. Means you have to take uh, five inputs. Okay. So now your output is six uh, hundred. How you will get the six hundred? Because here hundred, two hundred, and three hundred occurs only one time, right? And one is an odd number. That's why you have to take this three number for your calculation. Okay, and at the end you will get your desired output, six hundred. Okay, I think it's clear. So now let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, so I solve this problem in Java. Uh, so but I think you understood the main logic part. Then you can implement this code in any uh, language, right? So now let's see how you can solve. Okay, so now I come to my Eclipse ID. So basically, at first I just take the user inputs, right? And I think it's clear it's not like a rocket science. So I just take some user inputs, like to at first I take the n, and then I just declare an array of n size. Okay, and I, here I just take the user inputs for our array elements, right? And then I just call this solve method in our main method. Why so? Because in solve method I will solve all the. Uh, Means in the solve method, I will solve. I write the main logic part. Okay, to solve this question, so I think it's clear. Basically, so if you can remember in our question, they are th saying to us that you have to take the occurrence of each number, right? So to calculate the number of the occurrences, you can use hash map. Why so? Because in the hash map, you have total two fields, right? Key and value. So in the key field you can uh, store the array elements, right? And in the value field you can calculate the number of the occurrences of each element, right? So that's why you can use hash map. So here I also use hash map to solve this question. 
right because uh, to uh, for these types of question has not with a good choice because it makes your code easy right so now let's see uh, so has map integer so at first you have to uh, take the key integer and obviously that type is integer type because our array is an integer type array right so then integer because uh, in the value part i will store the number of the occurrences of each element and the number of the occurrences means occurrences is also integer type data right and then hm means okay means here hm just a reference right has my reference so now i just traverse our array okay so here i will use for each loop you can also use for loop okay same thing so now uh, I will just add this number in our hash map. Okay, so so to add the values and keys in our hash map, you can use put method. Okay, basically put method actually used to add the values and keys in our hash map. So that's why here I will also use put method. Okay, and then you have to write the key. So here our key is the array elements, right? So I then you have to write hm dot get or default i comma uh, default value is zero okay and then plus one so one basically here put method is used to add the keys value in our hash map okay and here asm dot k dot default method is used to um like okay so basically how this method will work basically it uh, asm dot k dot default method okay if this is our key value right if the if this method does not get any value for any particular key then this method will give me this default value okay and here i specify the default value is zero okay if this method get the value for the particular key then this method will give me that particular value okay then this method will not give me the uh, this default value okay if this method does not get any value for any particular key then only this method will give me this default value okay so whatever this method will give me i will just add plus one with this with with that number okay i think it's clear don't worry i will describe whole code again with an example okay so now i will just traverse this hash map okay for map dot entry integer comma integer and then hm dot entry set okay and then so you have to take the odd number of the occurrences right means the elements that occurs odd number of the times right so now e dot get value okay so basically get value method will give me the values okay and then modulus and obviously in the values part we are storing the number of the occurrence of each element right and it's um modulus 2 is not equals to 0 means the number of the occurrence is odd number of the times right and then you have to take in n equals to e dot get value okay and then while n greater than zero then i will add the value e dot get key okay means and this method means this e dot get value method will give me the value okay and e dot get method will give me the key means the array element okay and then i will just decrement this n by one okay and then at the end i will just return this rest okay so basically because um because you have to add that number with the same number of the times this number is occurring right means like here if the number is occurs three times then you have to add that number three times right that's why here i use another for loop okay so now let's run this code so if you can remember our uh, first uh, sample input was seven and 39 and if you can remember our gz output is also 39 okay so this program give me correct output okay now let's see another example is 5 right and then and it will give me 600 and this is our gz output right so now the thing is how this uh question is going on means how this code is working let's see so let's take the first example okay 
means our array elements are 11 okay 11 11 12 12 13 13 13 okay so after this for loop means here i am adding all the elements in our hash map right so after this for loop uh, you will get your desired hash map means in your hash map how what you will get in your desired hash map will get 11 because 11 is our key and in the value but you will get the number of the occurrence of this 11 is 2 right and then 12 is also 2 right and 13 is occurs 3 times right you will get this hash map okay after this for loop so now here i just traverse our hash map okay so now so e dot get value uh, will give me the value means this values this two this two this three this method will give me okay so i am not telling you this will be our sequence this sequence can be different okay so now if i just uh, for example let's take this sequence okay uh, so now our first is your get value is 2 right and obviously 2 is an uh, even number right in that case the if condition will not execute the second number is also 2 right and then again this if condition will not execute and our last number is 3 and it will get value is 3 then this if condition will execute right and then I will store this 3 in our n okay because it is occurring three times in our array right so now here i will take another while loop why is it because you have to add the number of the occurrence that particular number occurring you have to add that number in the same number of the times right so that's why you have to add the 33 times right so now the while uh, loop will executing for three two and one okay n equals to three right and for that case it is uh that value means e dot get value will give me 13 right and we will have to add that 13 three times right and every time we will just decrement this n by 1 okay like for first time uh, we just add 13 okay means now s is equals to 13 okay and now uh, okay that's the second yeah 13 okay so now your n is now 2 okay second time um is obviously 2 is greater than 0 right so again this while loop will execute and then you will add 13 plus 13 is 26 right now again this n is decrement by 1 now you will get 1 okay and again 1 is greater than 0 right so now you have to add race equals to race by e dot get value so now you have to again add 13 okay now you will get 39 okay so now it will increment by 1 okay now you will get 0 so now 0 is greater than 0 obviously this condition is false so now we will come out from this while loop okay and at the end i just return this race okay so i think this question is clear to you if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comment section okay so i hope this video is helpful for you and best of luck for your exam watching see you in the next video